okay so what is the a symmetric signal a symmetric signal uh, we are now we are talking about continuous time a continuous time signal x of t is a, uh, said to be symmetric or even if it satisfy following condition that is x of minus t is equal to x of t for all t at that time this is symmetric what is the anti symmetric then understand that we are not saying that is asymmetric we are saying that uh, anti symmetric or odd signal what does it mean uh, the entire statement will come over here a ct signal uh, x of t will be uh, said to be anti uh, symmetric if it satisfies condition x of minus t is equal to minus of x of t okay so what is going to happen the values will over same right but what is what had happened over here is that uh, for x of uh, minus t it is going to be minus values example of this is x of t is equal to a sin of t okay so this is the example of anti symmetric we are going to find out how to uh, actually find the symmetric and anti symmetric signal understand there is any signal signal can be expressed as sum of symmetric or i will write even and odd signal okay for example suppose uh, say x of t is a uh, our signal and this can be expressed as sum of two components that is odd component and even component like this okay <coughs> now uh, here this is the odd component and this is an even component now what we need to uh, what we have to do is that uh, we have to find out values of uh, x of t and x e of t okay so the questions will be asked to find out the even and odd part of the signal and therefore we need the equation for uh, x of uh, uh, the even uh, so odd component and the even component right we need the uh, equation for that right so we have the x of t right and uh, let's replace x of t x of t is equal to x odd t plus x even t right if i replace x of um, if i replace t with minus t how this is going to change is x of minus t is going to be x of minus t plus x even of minus t right but we know that for odd part x of minus t is going to be minus x o of or x odd of t and for even x e of minus t is a uh, going to be equal to x even of t right these are from the actually definitions right for even it is remaining as it is for odd the negative sign is been added over here i hope i am clear uh, i hope i am clear any question with this yes sir okay so if i put this values uh, this let me write this as uh, this as equation 1 
this as equation 2 this as equation 3 so if I put the values which I got in the equation 3 in the equation 2 okay putting the values of equation 3 into equation 2 what I'm going to get is x of minus t is going to be equal to I will write I will take e1 first x e1 of t minus x odd of t right so let's consider this as equation number 4 okay so if I'll add equation 1 and 4 what I'm going to get is x of t plus x of minus t is this is going to be an equal to x e1 t plus uh, let me write it properly x of t plus uh, what I'll do is that I will go to the next line uh, next slide okay so x of t plus x of minus t this is going to be equal to this term I will write first x odd of t plus x e1 of t right I am adding it now I will write this term x e1 of t minus x odd of t and this is going to be equal to 2 x e1 of t and that is going to be equal to x t plus x of minus t. So if I had to find out x of t it is going to be half of x of t plus x of minus t ok so this is one of the important uh, equation which you will get which will actually give the e1 part of the equation similarly now I had added if I will subtract 1 and 4 that is if I will subtract 4 from 1 what I am going to get is x of t minus x of minus t is equal to this equation I will write as it is x 0 t plus x e 1 of t minus in bracket this one x e 1 of t minus x odd of t right if I take this bracket out what will happen this and this term is going to, uh, so this is going to be plus right and this and this term is going to get cancer right so it is going to be x odd of t right and therefore x odd of t is going to be half of x of t minus x of minus t so this is the second equation which we got I hope uh, this is clear to you yes sir any question regarding this any question regarding this hello sir okay now for uh, discrete time signal okay so the e1 part is uh, we represented e1 part we represent as uh, um, x e1 of n and odd part we uh, represented as x odd of n right n y n because it is a dt signal okay so now uh, question comes uh, what is the uh, yes any question okay so x e1 of n is uh, going to be equal to half of x of n plus 
x of minus n. Okay, and x odd of n is going to be equal to half of x of n, uh, right? Minus x of minus n. So these are the two equation, and these are for discrete time. Okay, I don't have to prove this. Uh, it will go with the whatever the calculation I had uh, done. I hope this is clear to you. Right? I don't. I don't believe that I have to uh, explain how this terminology had came. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So now, uh, what we need to do is that uh, the questions which will be asked to use uh, to find out e one and odd components of signal okay so this is fine even and odd components of the signal okay so first we will take continuous time signal that is x of t is equal to cos of t plus sin of t plus cos of t into uh sin of t this is our entire signal okay now what do we need uh, for a calculation of even and odd is that we required x of minus t also right see if i to put i have to calculate uh, even part and the odd part i need need x of t and i need x of minus t so i i need to calculate x of minus t so what i need to do for this i need to replace t with the minus t right so it is going to be cos of minus t plus sin of minus t plus cos of minus t into sin of minus t what is the cos of minus t can anyone help me cos t yes it is a cos t and uh, so therefore this is understand this and therefore cos of sig cos signal we consider as a the uh, even signal what is the uh, sin of minus t you have seen in the mathematics what is the sin of sin sin t yes it is minus sin of t okay plus similar thing i will do over here it is going to be cos of t and this is going to be minus sin of t and therefore it is cos of t minus sin of t plus uh, so now it will not be a plus let me just erase this minus cos of t sin of t okay and this is x of minus t right now let us calculate the even part first uh, even part is x even of t uh, what is the equation for that half and addition of both the signal right so it is half and addition of both the signal x of t plus x of minus t okay so it is going to be half in bracket cos of t plus sin of t plus cos t into sin t plus this term cos of t minus sin of t minus cos of t into sin of t right so what is going to happen this term and this term is going to get cancel and this term and this term is going to get cancel so x e1 of t is going to be half of 2 cos t and therefore it is equal to cos of t okay so this is the e1 part of the signal now let's calculate the odd part x0 of t 
x 0 of t what is the equation x o of t sorry x odd of t is equal to half of x of t minus x of minus t. So, let us write that first half of x of t minus x of minus t. Okay. So, let us write this uh, first uh, x of t we will write this is the x of t that I will write over here it is cos of t plus sin of t plus cos t into sin t right minus in bracket I will write cos of t minus sin of t minus cos of t into sin of t bracket complete ok I will take negative sign out. So, uh, negative sign in. So, it is going to be equal to cos of t plus uh, sin of t plus cos of t into sin of t minus cos of t plus sin of t plus cos of t into sin of t right. So, what is going to happen this and this term is going to get cancel over here and uh, we are going to get half of 2 sin t plus 2 cos t into sin t right. So, that is going to be equal to sin of t plus cos of t into sin of t. Say x 0 is this or uh, not x 0 uh, x odd of this is this. I hope I am clear. Yes. 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 Sir. Anyone have any question about this? Please. Okay, so this is uh, about uh, this is about the uh, continuous time. Let's uh, see about the uh, discrete time. Okay, so uh, discrete time x of n is defined as minus two, one, two, minus one, three and this is origin ok. Uh, special specifically we are taking uh, uh, discrete time over here ok because calculation is little bit different we do not have to calculate x of minus n over here um, that why it is I will tell you ok. Now, here n is equal to minus 2 this is minus 2 this is minus 1 0 1 and 2. So, that I will write it is minus 1 uh, 0 1 and 2. Now, <coughs> x c of n is what is the equation for that x c of uh, x e 1 of n is equal to x of n plus x of minus n right this is our equation. Let us calculate x e 1 of 0. Okay. So, it is going to be half x of uh, 0 plus x of minus 0 right I put 0 in that. Okay. So, we know that x of 0 and x of minus 0 is same. So, it is going to be half of x of 0 plus x of 0 right and that is going to be equal to what is x of 0 in this case 2. So, it is half two. right 2 plus 2 right and that is going to be 4 by 2 and therefore, it is going to be 2 ok. I hope you understood the change in the calculation for continuous time and discrete time ok. So, what will be the next calculation we will be doing can anyone help me this was the first calculation what will be the second calculation can anyone help me. 
next calculation I need to do is that x e 1 of 1 I need to calculate. I hope I am making sense right. So, what is the x e 1 of 1? It is half of x 1 plus x of minus 1. Okay. So, it is going to be half of what is x 1 in our case is minus 1. What is x minus 1? x of minus 1 is so this is plus 1 and therefore, it is going to be 0. So, x e 1 of 1 is 0. What is x e 1 of 2? Half of x of 2 plus x of minus 2 which is going to be equal to half of what is x of 2 over here is 3 plus what is x of minus 2 over here is minus 2 and therefore, it is going to be 0.5. Am I clear? Any question regarding this? Okay, so I am by mistake clear written over here. It should be three plus minus two is equal to point five. Is it clear? Any question? Anyone? No, sir. Is there some some problem is there? It is not getting displayed properly. I don't know why. Okay. So, it is like that. Now, understand this I do not have to calculate x of minus 1 over here, okay? because what it is going to happen is x of it is going to be x of 1 plus x of minus 1. It is going to happen like this only and I am going to get value 0 only. So, we do not calculate negative value. Okay, we do not calculate the negative value. Uh, we assume that whatever cal uh, calculation we did for the positive value that going to repeat on the negative value and therefore, x e of n is going to be first for 2 it is going to be 0 0.5. Okay. So, this is minus 2 minus 1 is going to be this one 0. Okay. Uh, 0 we calculated over here. I do not know what had happened over here, I guess I had uh, okay, I guess there is some graphical problem, graphics problem is there, uh, let me do it, uh, let me do something about it, 2, okay, then 0 and this is going to be 0 0.5 and this is going to be an origin. I hope uh, this is clear to you, any question regarding this? Uh, let me just go out of this. Okay, so there was some problem. Uh, let me write for two. Okay, for this was for zero. This was for one. Uh, for two, it was uh, 
it is 3 uh, plus minus 2 and therefore it was 0 0.5 we do not calculate for the negative one that i had explained i hope it, it was clear and therefore xc of uh, n is uh, going to be equal to 0 0.5 0 and this was 2 okay this was the zero sample and it is zero and point five okay let's calculate for now for odd so x zero uh, x odd of zero we will calculate first okay first let me write equation for odd is going to be half of x of n minus x of minus n okay so uh, first x odd of 0 is going to be half of 0 is 2 right so it is going to be 2 minus 2 and therefore it is going to be 0 okay x uh, odd of 1 uh, i hope my screen is visible to you right it is visible okay x1 uh, it is going to be half of what it was minus 1 minus it was minus 1 minus of a second minus 1 minus of 1 all right it is going to be equal to minus 2 divided by 2 and therefore it is going to be minus 1 x odd of 2 is going to be half of uh, x of 2 minus x of minus 2 right and therefore it is going to be equal to 3 half of 3 minus minus 2 and therefore it is going to be 5 by I hope this is clear or should I repeat again? Yes, sir. Should I repeat again? Anyone who want me to repeat again, please uh, you can raise your hand. Okay, but understand this what we had said over here is because this was even understand this because it was even whatever on the positive side it was going to repeat on the negative side okay so what will happen with the uh, odd one for the even whatever was on the positive side it was repeating on the negative side what will happen with the uh, odd one is suppose let me calculate odd of uh, minus one what it is going to happen over here is equal to x of minus 1 minus x of 1 okay so what is x of 1 in our case is 1 so half of 1 minus minus 1 and that is going to be equal to this is going to be plus so it is going to be 2 by 2 and therefore it is going to be 1 so you understand this for odd the sign has been changed and our intuition will tell you us that x odd of minus 2 is going to be minus 5 by 2 let's calculate it x odd of minus 2 is going to be half of x of minus 2 minus x of plus 2 right so it is going to be half of what is x of minus 2 uh, x of minus 2 is minus 2 right so it is going to be minus 2 minus it is going to be 3 right and therefore it is going to be minus 5 by 2 okay so here you can see that so what is happening is x odd of n is going to be equal to minus 5 by 2 then 
1 then it is going to be a 0 minus 1 and 5 by 2 and e1 is going to be like 0 0.5 0 to 0 0.5 to this was origin this is origin 0 and 0.5 so here you can see that okay it is retaining the uh, characteristic for or the sign is getting changed i hope uh, i am making sense uh, i am not getting uh, feedback today i hope uh, it is clear to you all yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay <clears throat> let me just check the time okay so uh, what i'll do is that uh, first i will take the attendance and then we need to see uh, energy and power signals okay Just uh, give the attendance very fast. Uh, zero two. Let me just share the screen also. Okay. Uh, Prerna. Present, sir. Ritesh. Present, sir. Ankit. Present, sir. Shubham. Present, sir. Uh, Suraj. Present, sir. Swaraj. Present, sir. Aditya. Present, sir. Kiran. Sir, Janvi present. Sorry, Janvi. Uh, okay. Abhishek. Uh, present, sir. Kedar. Present, sir. Uh, Swaminath. Present, sir. Sachin. Present, sir. Shraddha. Present, sir. Kutnil. Present, sir. Sarvesh. Present, sir. Kunal. Present, sir. Devashish. Present, sir. Vishal. Present, sir. Prashant. Present, sir. Durga. Present, sir. Vaishnavi. Present, sir. Aditya. Present, sir. Aruturaj. Present, sir. Pallavi. Present, sir. Ajinkya. Present, sir. Indrajit. Indrajit. Sir, Saket present. Okay. What about Indrajit? Okay. Sahil. Present, sir. Smita. Present, sir. Shivam. Present, sir. Chinmayi. Hitesh. Present, sir. Sapna. Present, sir. Uh, Siddesh. Present, sir. Prajakta. Present, sir. Chaitanya. Present, sir. Snehal. Present, sir. Mayuri. Present, sir. Ura. Present, sir. Atharva. Yes, sir. Mayuri. Present, sir. Shreya. Present, sir. Anuj. Present, sir. Present, sir. Tejas. Tejas. Devashish. Present, sir. Kunal. Present, sir. Rohan. Present, sir. Arya. Present, sir. Uh, Prathamesh. Present, sir. Prathamesh uh, Navarkar. Present, sir. Abhay. Present, sir. Ojas. Oh yes. Present sir. Kunal. Present sir. Kunal Sungiri. Sopnil. Present sir. Sopnil Divke. Sir Kunal Sungiri present. Kostup. Present sir. Uh, Shubham. Shubham. Present sir. Present. Pranay. Pranay. Tejas, <coughs> Tejas, 
प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट सर ऐश्वर्या प्रेजेंट सर यश प्रेजेंट सर मिताली प्रेजेंट सर तन्मय प्रेजेंट सर आदित्य कुणाल प्रेजेंट सर ज्ञानदा प्रेजेंट सर आर्य प्रेजेंट सर साक्षी प्रेजेंट सर आकाश प्रेजेंट सर आरती प्रेजेंट सर गणेशवरी प्रेजेंट सर जानबी प्रेजेंट सर अनिल प्रेजेंट सर निखिल प्रेजेंट सर सामी प्रेजेंट सर प्रेमचंद उसने चैट बॉक्स में डाला है फोर्टी फाइव तेजस आदित्य सिक्सटी सेवन ओके ओनली टू आर अबसेंट ओके गुड ठीक है लेट मी यस वी विल कवर वेरी फास्टली द एनर्जी एंड पावर सिग्नल एंड वी विल स्टॉप actually you might had uh, studied this uh, somewhere in your uh, uh, second year it might be revision for you but uh, let's let's cover it <coughs> so next part is energy and power signal okay let's consider that uh, the voltage v of t uh, across a resistance r is producing current i of t okay so uh, the power or instantaneous power understand this it is an instantaneous power okay this is important so i am writing over here instantaneous power uh, p of t is equal to v of t into i of t all right this is the basic equation which we have studied uh, might be uh, basic electrical or basic electronics right and uh, in the school days also we had seen this okay different form of this i am going to write over here is v of t is equal to i of t i can write in that uh, into uh i of t i can write in the terms of uh, v of t as v of t divided by r right or uh, this i can write as v of t square divided by r also i can write this as i of t square of r okay so instantaneous power can be uh, given by this equation or uh, this equation okay but if i have to calculate a total power what i need to do is that i need to actually integrate this over some uh, plus or minus t or minus t to plus t 
understand this t has to be uh, it should go to the infinity right so for infinite time you are taking this in integration and therefore what i'll do is that i will take the limit as t goes to uh, infinity okay so for infinite time we and i am taking this and then only i can get a total power okay and this is a total uh, energy first i will take and then i will take the power okay so this is the energy if i have to talk about then it is going to be equal to i of t square into dt and this is going to be what is the uh, uh, what you call it this as uh, its unit as joules okay and if i to write equation for the power power is going to be again it is going to be in limits t goes to infinity now i have to divide it by 2t divided uh, integration for minus t to t this actually equations we have seen in the uh, our electronics just we are writing in the terms of t okay i of t square dt and this is in the watts here we are considering understand in the both the cases we are considering that r as 1 ohm okay <coughs> Uh, but uh, problem with this is that uh, suppose we have a sinusoid signal so what happens is that if this is the sinusoid and if i take the integration that means the area under the curve if i take the integration so this is going to be an positive area and this is going to be a negative area and therefore integration of this is going to be an zero right and therefore we cannot add this or we cannot have the integration and therefore why because this is going to be in plus or minus okay and therefore for x of t any signal x of t what we do is that we write it a little bit differently as if in case i'm saying if in case this is uh, like this what we do is that limit t tends to infinity minus t to t mod of right so that negative negative signs are going to get cancel x of t its square dt and similarly we will do it for power power is going to be equal to limit t goes to infinity 1 upon 2t minus t to minus t to t mod of x of t Uh, understand this again i am repeating we are taking mod just to eliminate the negative uh, values square dt okay and if i take the square root of this okay if i take the square root of this what i am going to get is rms value all right or root mean square value of this okay and for dt signal energy is uh, written as limit n tends to infinity now here i cannot do the integration so i do the summation and goes from minus n capital n not infinity to n mod of x of n square and for power it is limit capital n tends to infinity 1 upon 2 n plus 1 summation n goes from minus infinity to infinity mod of x of n its square okay so this is for continuous time and this is for discrete time okay so we will i hope our time is up now yes so we will stop over here so thank you everyone let me just stop the recording also